you may care to have a walk around the churchyard at the old church of St Nicholas. Because if you do, there you will find amongst the headstones one erected in memory of a Frederick Raymond Willis, who was an uphill resident who died of his wounds during the Battle of Normandy on the 22nd of June 1944, when he was a sapper in the 756 Field Company of the Royal Engineers. Frederick is not actually buried in the churchyard, but in one of the Normandy War Cemeteries, one of many hundreds of thousands of other soldiers and forces who we know died during the Normandy Day and the Battle of Normandy, and who we are here to honour today. The International 80th Anniversary D-Day Beacon was, or at least should have been lit in Normandy, at 8.15 this evening at the British Normandy Memorial overlooking Gold Beach, with the other beacons located at Utah, Omaha, Juno and Sword Beaches being lit at 8.30. The principal beacon in the UK is situated at Portsmouth and will be lit at 9.15am, along with others across the nation, including the one which we are going to light here. Joining us today is the beacon is Mr. Charles Clark, CBE, who is representing the Lord Lieutenant of Somerset. Thank you. from the Methodist Church sadly isn't able to be here. I think other members of the church are here and she sends her apologies. So before we light the beacon, I will ask the mayor to read the proclamation that has been read by town criers across the country earlier. And uh, Giles Clark will read a tribute to those involved in the D-Day landings in the back of Germany. And in honor to this beacon will be lit Today we commemorate the 80th anniversary of the D-Day landings in Normandy, France. An incredible achievement in military planning and logistics, uniting brave service personnel from air, sea and land forces at the beginning of Operation Overlord. By the day's end, over 150,000 Allied troops had successfully stormed the now famous Gold, Juno, Sword, Utah and Omaha beaches to achieve a toehold in France. In the weeks that followed, the Allies fought bitterly against a determined foe from the unforgiving countryside of Normandy to the liberation of Paris two months later. We should all remember and never forget the selfless sacrifice and courage of all those involved and use this commemoration to pay our tribute to those who gave so much to secure the freedom we all enjoy today. God save the king. God save the king.